is advertising in the UK seen so highly? Um, unfortunately, I don't think it is. Um, I think if you look at the core of the TV advertising world, it hasn't won the awards that it had been doing in the past. Uh, and you know, when you look at the UK uh, digital advertising industry, which is obviously where I grew, where I've grown up, you know, there are countries that are better than the UK. Um, you know, Sweden in particular. You know, they got their broadband infrastructure sorted very, very quickly, and as a result of that, you know, their digital creativity is fantastic. Uh, Brazil, Japan, the US. Um, I think there's no doubt that they are stronger within the digital advertising space. Although at the same time, there are some brilliant people here in the UK, um, and I just think more investment should be going into that young talent coming through. Creative thinking is is is, is at the heart of why Britain has been successful today. I mean, I think it's fundamental when you talk about progress. Um, I mean, we certainly in the agency that I ran for you know, over 10 years and still now, you know, we had this philosophy that was ideas can come from anywhere and I think it's those ideas that really lead to change. You have to uh, have a, a infrastructure that allows you um, to be able to allow that creative thinking to happen quite freely. I think there's no doubt that Creative Britain um, has had a huge um, benefit from having amazingly creative industry. So, you know, I, I believe, I think Creativity is probably Britain's one of Britain's strongest uh, industries, and sometimes it doesn't feel like it's given that same support. Education does kill, is killing creativity. It is taking the creative bit of people's minds. Um, Paul Smith did a, an ad for Perry, and he talks about uh, this whole childlike mentality, not childish but childlike and how, uh, and you can see, you know, you can see his office is, is actually surrounded by toys and, you know, childlike objects. And he talks about the need to get back into that state of having the freedom and no barriers, whereas education takes you down and, you know, really stops, starts closing off that open-mindedness and that open thinking. Sometimes when you talk about stuff, and maybe you are wrong, you start to get a discussion, yeah, and you start to learn. Okay? And you only learn through making mistakes or, or, having, the, or having the guts to uh, make, make statements that actually, uh, maybe they were misguided, but you're only going to find out by making them. Yeah, if you internalise them, you're never going to know the difference. I don't have children, but um, I do have my niece. You know, you know the things they say, they just, they just, they, you can just tell they're always open to new things. And just they say what they see and they say what they feel and they have no inhibitions and I think what education does is really cut those inhibitions down. The government needs to look at how they try and keep that element out and, um, and actually allow people to come out of education um, and still be able to turn on that childlike uh, persona uh, and be able to open up and you know, to be as creative as possible and not worry about it. And um, I think, you know, it's interesting. I, I think social media, to a certain extent, may be contributing to allowing people to open up a bit more. You know, through the likes of Facebook, you can share how you feel very quickly. You can't really get away in a world where the product's not good enough uh, and actually rely on fancy advertising to build a brand uh, which maybe doesn't really fulfill what it's promising. Um, so I think you know, that's one of the biggest changes that's happening. So in its current format, I would argue that advertising is becoming less important. Um, however, you know, I do truly believe as it evolves, you know, I, I, I hope that the UK industry will be at the heart of that. I think it, it still has the opportunity to have a very uh, important place um, within the overall marketing mix.